Okay, so solve natin yung problem na to. So exponential growth, so halos same lang. Exponential growth and decay, no problem. So parang bacteria problem din to. So dq over dt is directly proportional to q, no? So parang ano lang siya, parang population growth. Kung titingnan mo yung formula ng population growth, uh, dp over dt uh, directly proportional to p, no? So parang dq over dt directly proportional to q. So same lang yung content nila. Nagbago na yung variable. So example, yung reduce Uh, decomposes at a rate proportional to the amount at any instant. So, in 100 years, 100 milligrams of radium uh, decompose to 96 milligrams. So, how many milligrams will be lost after 100 years? So, ibig sabihin, uh, and page, so, so, daya. So, meron tayong formula na dq dt is directly proportional to q. So, parang so, dq all over yung dt is equal nung k q. No? para mawala lang yung directly proportional. So, may si parable uh, differential equation so pwede na to so combine lang natin yan then integrate natin both sides so we have L and Q K T plus constant C so meron tayong dalawang constant so sabi niya iridium decompose at a rate amount in 100 years 100 milligram Uh, of region decomposed to 96 so bali base equation na to di ba so yung time frame natin dito is oh dito na lang is at time 0 so yung original uh, na weight nya is 100 milligrams okay So, nung 100 years na, so, nag-decompose na siya, no? So, hindi na Q yun, o oh, yan, kundi bagong Q yun, na sa 100 years, uh, 96, no? From 100 milligrams, decompose to 96. Okay, so starting from 96, so how many will be lost after 100 years? So, ibig sabihin, uh, at another 100 years, so 200 years na lahat, na? So, parang 100 years plus 100, so 200 years. So, ilan daw yung value nung Q niya? Okay, so ganun. So, if I assume this is our, my equation 1, so pwede ko yung isubstitute lahat yung value dyan. So, at time equal 0, Q equals QO, 100 milligrams. So, LN lang nung 100, and then... I have yung value nung k and then 0 plus nung c. So, thus yung, yung c is ln nung 100. At time equals 100 years. So, yung q 100 ano, yung q is just equal to 96 milligrams. So, subset lang natin sa LN uh, 96, yung K is unknown, yung T is 100, and then plus LN 100. 
So, LN 96 minus LN 100 is equal to 100K. So, therefore, we have LN 96 all over 100 equals 100K. So, yung K natin is just equal to LN 96 all over 100. all over 100 so dito na at time 200 years so yung Q natin is mag ilan na so we have LN Q yung K natin is LN nung 96 all over 100 all over 100 then times yung time na 200 Okay, ito yung K, ito yung time, plus LN, 100. So, using our calculator, so therefore we have 92.16 milligrams. Okay? So, ganun lang yung mangyayari. Okay, so pwede din yung formula ng solution equation. Pwede mo rin gamitin yan. Yung Q equals QO AKT. So pwede mo rin gamitin yan. No? So bali, diretso ka na at time. Uh, at time 100. Yung Q nya is 96 mg so alam mo lang na yung Q original is 100 mg so meron kang 96 and then you have 100 E then Q then 100 so ibig sabihin that becomes 96 all over 100 nung E100 nung K So LN mo lang yung 96 all over 100 Then LN mo din yung E nung 100K So therefore meron kang uh, LN nung 96 out of 100 100 K and then LN E and take note this is equal to 1 so yung K mo is LN nung 96 all over uh, all over 100 okay and then next is at time 200 years ah, ilan yung Q na? so balik kayo dito so meron ka ng Q and then Q O E and then K and T so yung Q is just equal to 100 E and then yung K mo subset mo lang yung LN mo 96 all over 100 all over yung 100 and then yung time na 200 so thus yung Q natin is pareho lang yan no 92.16 milligrams So, baksa natin da. Okay, so I think that's it. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.